film role. Richard Widmark makes a guest appearance as Arthur Curry, the American Secretary of State. Judy Davis, best known as Collins, plays an SAS captain. So why the US Marines uniform? I'm a turncoat. <laughs> No, the thing is that I've infiltrated into the group and the way they've got into the building, the supposed embassy, is under the guise of being marine band players. And so they've seconded me into it. And uh, although I'm not given a weapon because they don't trust me, you see, they've been following me. And uh, so I'm playing an undercover agent in a sense that has been tailed. The Army Air Corps has been brought in to supply the realism you and Lloyd is looking for. But the only way to capture the excitement that will appear on the screen is by long, repetitive and unglamorous hours of work in cold winter weather. The director is Ian Sharp, best known for his work on television series like The Professionals, where he worked with Lewis Collins, and Bergerac. I asked him how he was finding the film world after years of work on the small screen. Uh, in fact, because obviously we're on a longer schedule than the television show, but in fact the time is just as bad, particularly at this time of the year. Obviously this isn't the truth, there's nothing real about this. I mean, Having been in the TAVR myself, obviously I've rubbed shoulders with the SAS, so talking about basic training, I know quite a bit about it, but nothing that's going to break any official secrets out. You see, the beauty of my position is uh, that no one can ever criticize the film for being right or wrong, because no one really knows, except the men themselves, and they are only five or six hundred people. Uh, so the critics will have a great difficulty in telling me that I've done it badly. They may say it's filmed badly, but, but uh, in terms of content, they won't be able to say very much. Uh, the information that we've had access to came primarily from people who have been close to the service, or 